Even the ThinkPad brand of Lenovo, which has always been pretty conservative when it comes to design, is embracing the modern laptop trends. The new T16 Generation 1 is the first of many laptops to come, introducing a 16-inch display, while remaining as portable as a 14-inch laptop. On the outside, we're greeted by a standard ThinkPad build. The black models come with a lid made of carbon fiber and glass fiber polymer, while the storm gray variant goes with an aluminum lid. The rest of the chassis is plastic. As a whole, the laptop is very durable, while weighing only 1.65 kilograms. The base comes with stereo speakers and a fingerprint reader. As for the keyboard, it includes a numpad and has long key travel, clicky feedback, and is spill resistant. However, keep your coffee away from it, as it is a mess to clean. The touchpad has a mylar surface and great accuracy, while the buttons above are for the red track point hidden between the G, H, and B keys. On the sides, we find two Thunderbolt 4 ports, two full-sized USB 3.2 ports, audio jack, HDMI, LAN port, and a smart card slot, which can be used for unlocking the device, providing extra security. On the back, there's a SIM card tray, keeping you connected everywhere. The QHD Plus IPS panel on the front has the fan-favorite 16-10 aspect ratio, along with high max brightness of 413 nits. It covers 99% of the sRGB gamut and has good accuracy out of the box. Of course, our profile lowers it even more and you can get it from the link in the description. The laptop has a massive 86 watt hours battery, which lasts for 14 hours and 30 minutes of web browsing, or 9 hours and 30 minutes of video playback. Great result! Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. The Core i7-1260P has a 28 watts power limit, but we've seen other P-series CPUs forego that and go as high as 60 watts. During our stress test, the CPU maxed out at 42 watts, but only for a few seconds, quickly dropping to 20 watts. Still, the processor performs well, keeping up with the Tiger Lake H-series from last year, in comparable laptops like the HP ZBook Power from last year. The MX550 GPU complements the Core i7 nicely and can work with the iGPU, to do even better in productivity work, as more and more applications take advantage of Intel Quick Sync. With only two heat pipes for the CPU and GPU, Lenovo has kept the laptop in a pretty conservative mode. Our stress test showed that the device reaches a maximum temperature of only 72 degrees Celsius, and that's only in the first seconds, dropping to 64 degrees Celsius in the long run. This is obviously reflected in the clock speeds as well, as both the P-Cores and E-Core don't go above 1.6 GHz. The GPU hovers around 77 degrees Celsius at the 30-minute mark, while the clock speed fluctuates around 1200 to 1300 megahertz comfort is great with the fans being quiet while the hot spot is in the upper part of the keyboard and maxes out at 45 degrees celsius with eight phillips head screws holding it in place the laptop is relatively easy to take apart however you can't do much once inside as the ddr4 ram is soldered while there is only one M.2 PCIe X4 slot for generation for SSDs. You can check out our teardown video for a better understanding of the disassembly process. The laptop has everything to be successful, but Lenovo might want to address the thermal management, as there is room for the performance to improve. Still, the Core i7-1260P scores well in benchmarks, while the display is ripe for doing creator work. Security is top-notch, which is essential for a ThinkPad. All in all, the T16 is a pretty successful attempt by Lenovo to implement modern trends in an already proven formula that can only get better from here.
Of course, we've done a lot more tests and you can check out all the results in our in-depth review on LaptopMedia.com. You'll find the link in the description below the video.